On the show today, Kevin and I reveal a little bit of our national television future. And we also talk about crazy things like Circuit City going out of business and Safari 4. It's really not as fast as you say. It is fast. Shut up. This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by Sega Empire Total War, GoDaddy, Netflix, and Hippie Glenn's Colon Cleanse with hemp, sesame seeds, and buttercream. The buttercream gets the anus clean. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is so early. In Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie, you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Friends, welcome to Dignation episode number 192. I'm Kevin Rose. I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation, of course, covers some of the hottest users of minute stories on the social news website dig.com. It's double G.com. <laughs> it's G I G G.com. There we are. We're here in San Francisco and we're drinking a little tea. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of tea is this? Talk us through it. Hilo Chung. What? It is a, a Chinese tea that I purchased online. Um, speaking of which, I don't want to talk about it right now. But um, I'm working with my friend. Uh, what is this? Speaking of which, I'm not going to tell you. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm, uh, my buddy here in San Francisco owns Sam of Tea Lounge. Okay. Which is like four different tea places. I haven't taken you there yet, huh? No, no, no. Amazing food, great tea, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm working with him to create a tea for me that I really enjoy. Really? Like right. the Kevin I mean, Rose Adagio has like. Pimp tea? Well, uh, the thing about Adagio is like Adagio has like. They have good teas, but there's like 20 of them, and it's Adagio's teas. And so right, anytime right. we pick a tea, it's like, okay, I have one. Which of the Adagio which teas, teas do I want? I want right, right. right, So this is me going out <laughs> and actually sourcing some tea, like really yeah. awesome kick-ass stuff, and, uh, and putting together a little thing. But I, I'm I like not there yet. I should do that with coffee. You totally should, dude. Shut up. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, yeah, let's do it. You should. I love it. I should. Because you're a big coffee fan. Huge coffee fan. Huge you were telling me about that, that coffee you drank the other day, actually, just before the show, the, uh, the, the mud Greek, coffee. Greek mud coffee. It's not actually called mud coffee, but it's Greek tea. It's a, or Greek coffee. It's a lot like Turkish coffee. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. And you said there's like a sediment at the well, bottom? Well, it's, like, it's like one of those little itty bitty espresso things, mm. and it's really strong. And it, it, the, the lady, I was, like, I was like, yeah, what's, I was like, oh, it's the Greek coffee. That sounds good. And she's like, well, it's got the dirt in it. And I go, what? And she goes, like, it's got the dirt at the bottom. And so I was like, oh, I, I think she means coffee grinds. Right. I think she meant dirt. Right. Because I was literally, I threw my first sip, and I go, it actually tastes like dirt. Huh. And then the worst part is, is that it was great. And I recommend it highly, especially if you like coffee, because it was really this strong, interesting experience. Are you just saying that? No, no, no. I actually enjoyed it. I drank the whole thing. Uh, I Do would go back and get another. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, some people are like, it's, it's the point where, like, we it's we're like just unagi, unagi. <laughs> the sushi that's, like, just fucked up, and you're like, I, admit, I actually did it. And it's right. like, that wasn't good. There was no joy right, in it. Right, exactly. They're just adding shit now. Right. So that you'll be like, it's so exotic. Yeah, this like, one has whale rocks. pussy. What? <laughs> right in there. It's just folded right in. That's it's like, horrible. I don't want that, I Dude, think. By the way, I know the best sushi place in the world that you have to try next time you're in San Francisco. No, but it, they fly their fish in daily from Japan. Oh, that's good. And it's all fish that you don't know. Like, there's no salmon on the menu. There's no, like, yellow tail. It's, like, shit you've never heard of. But remember in Japan how we ate some fucked up shit and we were like, oh, yeah. this is horrible? Yes. It's all really sweet and yummy, amazing fish. Okay, because I remember a lot, eating a lot of fish I didn't know. Right. And going... It was horrible. Mall. Right. This is called Cebu. It's in San Francisco. If you ever get out there, check it out. Anyway. You mean out here, but that's okay. And tell the guy with the tattoos standing at the sushi bar that I sent you because he'll hook you up. Tattoos, sleeve tattoos, Cebu, Hayes Valley, San Francisco. There you go. What will he give you? Everybody, he's going to give you a knife in the back. He's going to be know. like, Kevin, roll. Wang! I don't know that he'll hook you up, but, uh, you know, go say hi. He's, he's cool. He's uh, on Twitter. He's getting on Twitter. I love it. Love it. Um, All anyway. right, shall we get into this bad boy? Yep, let's do it. <clears throat> oh, you're going oh, to South by Southwest. Top of the show. Yes. I guess that, that is what it says here when it says before first story. We are going to South by Southwest. Uh, we are going to be doing a live Dignation party. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, uh, March 14th. 14th. Thank you, Kevin. Saturday. Uh, a Saturday. Thank you, Kevin. 
Uh, Brian Brushwood's going to be doing a uh, little bit warm up with some crazy ass scam school action. Which is always crazy. You, always crazy. We got a band coming in afterwards. Mm. Uh, the band what Republic band? Tigers. Yes. Republic Tigers are going to be on after I've us. I've heard great things about them. It's going to be super fun. It's at Stubbs in Austin. Uh, so if you're around Austin, be there or be. <whistles> also, by the way, in like three days from then, we're doing a live TRS too. Awesome. It's like crazy when is that? live Austin show. Uh, March 17th. Tuesday, uh, no shit. idea where. I fly out su Sunday. 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 That's all right. But I would be flying out Sunday, but I'm going to stay and Dude, you're going to love it. You've never been to South by. I'm so stoked because it is my favorite conference. Actually, well, that's tied to the future of web apps because yeah. I love FOA as well. But Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be pretty crazy. It's insane. Anyway. anyway. So be there or be school is there, as it were. All right. Oh, and you don't need to have a badge for South by Southwest. You can come. Right. Just show up. Yep, love it. And it's a big venue. So and what age? Come out. What age groups? Uh, 18 and over, right? Or is it all? All ages. All ages. All ages. So bring on the underage kids. Because <laughs> <laughs> we want to uh, have them experience what a live dignation is like. That's horrible. Oh my God, that would be so awesome. All I right. I, we curse a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. All we right, do. let's start. But they know that. Mm. First star of the day with 1,891 digs submitted by Tal Satch. <laughs> Sack? Quick and online can't believe mints growth sends threat. Mints, M I M I N T apostrophe S. Yes. Mints. Um, it's not like mints meat pies right. growth. It's mint.com, M I N T.com. Quick and online were so bewildered by mints claims of gaining 3,000 new users per day and jumping from 600,000 to 850,000 users in a matter of months that they decided to send a threatening letter demanding an explanation for this apparently inconceivable, inconceivable feat. Wow. So, um, I have to say, uh, I am a, I've used Mint in the past. Yeah, I, I, oh, I wanted to use Mint. I think it's a very slick look. There's something still It's getting better quite, and better, dude. I know, there's something still sort of unsettling about giving somebody all of my financial information. So here's the deal, though. They, I know it's safe, but. They don't actually have, like, your login. They create a hash. And then match like the hashes up and make sure. So hippie likes it. It's it's all hippie loves it. Hippie's like, well, who makes He's a like, hash? Who hash? Can I get in on that? I, I do um, my banking through them and they give me a hash. What? <laughs> totally. Every day. Or? Um, <laughs> so so basically, it, it is very secure and they have a lot of. You can go read about all their security. I'm sure and, it's and, secure as a mofo. Right. It's just tough, dude. It's a hard thing to get over. I here's, think. Here's the cool thing though. Like I have a, a bunch of different shit. Like. Um, some some stuff. Uh, I don't know if I want to mention the banks that I bank with. I was but, just about to say, but that's um, all right. Go for it. But I'm just saying, like, I use a couple different banks, uh, like ING, right, yeah. and shit like that. And I want one place to see a unified view of like how you're doing. Yeah. Like, if you lost any money in your investments. Yeah. Like, it reminds you. It sends me a text message. It reminds to my you iPhone. How, how shitty the uh, <laughs> economic outlook is right now. <laughs> it does, but it also does cool things. Like, I get a text message to my iPhone once a week mm -hmm. with like a summary of what's going on. Hmm. And then also it sends me a tech me text message when like bills are due. So it'll be like, That's hey, cool. we noticed that you didn't pay your American Express. Right. So heads up, you need to do that, right? And, and is it free service? It's a free service. And the iPhone app is awesome. Where's their back end money making? They do things like they take a look. They like you, sell your bids. And, no, I'm just kidding. They sell your financial <clears throat> data. No, they don't do that. The, but what they do do is um, once you link your accounts, it's like, hey, by the way, we noticed that you have oh, so they do a city bank credit yeah. card. You could be earning better interest with this Got credit it. card. Okay, that kind of thing. That's smart. Um, but dude, here's the deal. Basically, because I like the iPhone, because I use Microsoft Money, and I love Microsoft Money. For what I'm doing right now, it works seamlessly. Uh, like it downloads all my information from my bank. I love it. But the one thing it doesn't do, which I think I would really like, is to be able to have it interact with my iPhone. Right. You know what I mean? Like I used to have the Microsoft Money app for like my old. Dude, remember that Samsung thing that I had on the screensavers? That big ass Samsung like i900 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That was freaking awesome. But I had my money there. This is like light years beyond that shit. You got to play with the iPhone app. Like just even if you don't link your accounts, you can install the iPhone app and like said like if you don't link your bank yet. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, this is what the email that that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intuit sent to Mint. It says, "While we do not wish to suggest that mint.com is engaging in false advertising, the substantial difference in claimed user numbers over a short period of time from 600,000 to 800,000 is of some concern." What? Basically, basically what what this is all legal speak we do not wish to suggest bullshit you just that's suggested exactly it. what you're doing yeah 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 you know what i mean it's like basically into it's like okay 
we don't want to say that you're lying, but we think you're lying, right? Well, but the crazy thing is, can you give us some evidence? When do you ever, ever ask for evidence from somebody who's advertising something? Oh, dude, this was the biggest fuck up ever by Intuit because what they did is they is said, mince. we have nowhere near that much right. growth. We have no, we, we, exactly. <laughs> We are like, shocked that that is even fuck? possible. Right. right. That's and, just and, saying how good they are doing. Right. And then basically, uh, of course, Mint is like, um, actually, we're going to share this with the world. And they shared it with like TechCrunch. And now all the blogs are like, you know, Intuit of course. is. Well, here's the deal though. Intuit, I've used their product. It was pay like $2 a month. Right. And then it was free. Dude, your web product sucks. You're, you're, don't get me wrong, your desktop software, yeah, my dad uses your shit for accounting, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, that's Your the web thing. shit sucks. Yeah. It's nothing compared to Mint. Like Mint is light years. Bite the bullet. Throw Buy them, Mint. Throw them 150 <laughs> million or whatever it's going to take. Right, right. Get their shit and then just be cool. You know, it's like yeah. I don't know why they would even have to send this letter. Like they're clearly scared about Mint. They're, clearly, they're, they know scared. that the, the the future is not like their box software that you buy at Best Buy, but right. an online thing. Right. Right. People are becoming more comfortable with the security of online websites. Right. It's not a big deal anymore to kind of link these things, or it's you know getting to a more comfortable place. Right. 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 And and they're they're freaking out. They're like, this could hurt us. Right. Yeah. You're a big ass company buy mint if you're really worried just yeah, don't no send shit. them letters like this and like weird letters it's almost like a letter like no, you're f you're the one who's stupid with your u users ours are a million times <laughs> it's like <laughs> what you're a, you're a professional company like that's totally what they did they went we don't shut yours is blue right Asshole. you're not adding as many as we you know are. i add more users than you've seen for a year, what? Shut up! Like that's literally what that email <laughs> amounts yeah, to. Well, I mean, it's it, this is a, a just legal. They're know, legal positioning. You know? I know they're legal positioning. Maybe they're legal positioning to buy. It backfired. It big did, time. Big time. Because everybody went into it. They still around. Yeah. Well, now I'm definitely gonna try. Out. Here's the reason why it backfired. I'm gonna go home and try mint. <laughs> totally. I'm not gonna go home and try Quicken. And and Hippie's <laughs> heard about the hash, and so he's Hibby's in. in. <laughs> Anybody who has a hash mark, Hippie likes to have. That's right. I fucking love it. That's so, I mean, talk about backfiring. All you did what was just- What are you just, eating, dude? Smile, what's on your teeth? Chocolate. Chocolate. No, 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 no. You, no look at the Prager. Look at the Prager and smile. That is eating, literally dude? what you we call like, a shit oh eating grin. Ah, hippie. That's literally a shit eating grin. Right? <laughs> I think that's what that means. He's like like grinding up little nuts and eating treats while we're fucking doing this yeah. shit. Yeah. He's planting. Okay. He's Dude, like, I didn't get lunch. Pear, can you go home some lunch? All right, please? before we get to lunch, let's get to our next story, shall we? All right. Oh, Tales of horror from the Circuit City liquidation. Uh, 2,292 people dug this story, submitted by DBLDN. Okay. Uh, I went to Circuit City today to capitalize on their misfortune. I saw a copy of Resident Evil 4 for the PS2 on sale for $7.50. Upon waiting in the checkout line, I saw a sign that said, all sales are final. I got home and opened my purchase to see this monstrosity of a game disc. Shit. So this guy bought, <clears throat> this guy bought Resident Evil 4, liquidation, all sales final. Look at what somebody did to the game disc. Oh, they carved shit. the name Danny in the bottom and then shredded the first little bit. Well, clearly the shredder broke down and couldn't do the job. Like, meow. Fuck, Danny. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the yeah, they were like, screw it. I, this guy, I don't want this guy to shoot zombies. That fucker. He's stealing my money. What? It doesn't even make any sense. First off, did you did you go and do any of the Circuit City stuff? No. Did you? No. And I'll tell you why. Because I, I Twittered about it, and I was like, oh my god, I'm thinking about going today. Because it was the day that it was happening. I think it was like Saturday, four months ago, whatever. And uh, I know it wasn't four months ago, but. Um, and I got a Twitter back that said, yeah. They say 40% off, but it's really only 10% off the stuff that you would actually want to buy. Right. So like speakers, televisions, uh, you know, Blu-ray players, video game consoles, surround sound, like all the stuff that you would actually want to buy was all 10% off. What they had that was 40% off were like old shitty games, DVDs that they couldn't sell for more. You know what I mean? Like the stuff that you really wanted wasn't very good. So I never ended up going. Yeah. But I heard that it was a madhouse at some of the places. Like just so much, people were just like flocking to buy as much oh, shit as they possibly dude, could. Oh, dude, like madhouse. Yeah. 
That's the stuff. I don't like going into those. Like, do you? I don't do the Black Friday or I don't do Black, that either. Or like oh, Gray I used Thursday to. or I whatever the fuck it was. I just don't. There's nothing I ever wait around for a long time to go get. Like if it's something I'm really, 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 really want, <laughs> yeah, I'll normally try and find it online on like Amazon or something because you can get a slight discount from the store and just buy it there. There, are, dude, online. Oh fuck! I got the Kindle too. What? Like today? Is it here? Per, can you grab it? It's upstairs, up next to my desk up there. Oh, that was a good transition. Well, we were talking about new products <laughs> You're and like, shit. Oh fuck! I gotta show you this thing I bought. It's it's awesome. Because I was gonna say one of the things that I find interesting is I think online sales have really are gonna really. They're su- I, I think Best Buy is gonna go out of business. Really. I just can't imagine, even some places that do, like eBay. Interesting. Because here's the thing. It's a lot like CarMax. Have you ever been to CarMax? I've heard of it. So CarMax's whole deal is they buy cars for more money than a dealer will give you, less money than selling it by yourself. But you can just, they'll just buy it. You drive your car up and in 20 minutes they'll go, we'll give you this much money for it. Right. And it's more than you would get if you traded it in and it's less than you would get if somebody sold it. Like by yourself. I know, right, welcome. So, oh, ball sack. Yeah, sack, major sack. Okay, I will get back to why I think Best Buy is going to be done soon in one second. Let me put, let me put it on, on so you can see the contrast. Is there a good... Dude. Oh. Don't touch it. It's not oh. touch screen. <laughs> I wasn't, I was... Huh? Kindle tip. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it looks like, it, it looks like a comically large model of the original iPhone. <laughs> right? Like, oh wait, sorry. What's going on, bro? Yeah, I'm just talking on my iPhone. Or the original yeah. iPod, like a big ass, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like with a dial. And sting. That's awesome. That's good, that's good stuff. So, let, me, so, let me show you a couple of things it does. Yeah, because this is, that's pretty cool. It look, I will say my initial reaction is there's a lot of wasted space for, that, that doesn't have screen. Does that make sense? Well, you need to hold it. You don't want to like be touching the screen, like have your hands. Over I agree it. with that. I'm I just think saying. it's the right size. Like, so here, it's definitely let, the right. Let me walk you through the features. Width, height, and so better battery. Better battery life. Okay. Faster turning pages. Okay. Now watch this. Turn a page. Let, so I'll go next page. Okay, next page. Now watch That's this. Good. Let's say you're reading something and you're like, I don't <clears throat> understand what that word is, right? Yeah. You hit this little little arrow down. All right. And let's just say you want to find the word. So let's say it's shift. The, Key. Let's go down to like Press. desired. Desired. Okay? So you let the cursor stick in front of it, and then boom, it shows you the de- definition down at the bottom there. That's Instantly really cool. looks it up, right? That's really cool. And then cool. you can hit enter to get more, and it brings up like the full definition from the built-in dictionary uh, into the device. That's really cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So um, a couple things it does that I think is pretty unique is that you can go into this mode here where you go menu and then you turn on text to speech and uh, this will allow you like, you're like oh, I really don't want to read you put your headphones in and then entering text to use the Kindle keyboard most people find it easiest to hold the device in both hands and use the tips of their thumbs to press the keys lowercase and uppercase letters to enter life? lowercase oh! letters, press the appropriate letter key. <laughs> I guess you're closing your Hold down the shift key. <laughs> so it's reading the, yeah, the user it. guide. Like you and it's, on it still sounds clearly like a generator, but it's not so pass. speak and spelly. Right. And there's a court case because of that. Yeah, there's a court case because of that. Because it's not speak so, and spell? No, all these, yeah, all these, audiobook. these audiobook authors and like, like professional voice people are like, oh, you're, you're violating our copyright and we should get paid for that and all that shit. For generating a computer voice? It, oh, that's it. Oh. That's interesting. I think it's bullshit, dude. No, well, but dude, here's the deal: the internet comes through, and and technology comes through. I know. Well, and this assimilates and, and, welcome, and breaks down welcome, businesses. Okay, so welcome back to. This is another to, one that five years back, now is going to be right. gone. And welcome back to why I think Best Buy is not going to be around right, for much longer. Exactly. I looked up. I was going to buy a new video camera. Mm-hmm. <clears> Which one? I, I looked at uh, the HVX 200A. I actually have that one. No, you don't. <laughs> I was like, there's no reason why you would have bought that camera. So I looked it up on this like not it wasn't like a Best Buy, but it was like a place down the street that sells like production equipment. Right. And it was like fifty five hundred dollars. And Holy I was like, shit, right, why are you buying that camera? Exactly. That's why I went, I went, wow, okay, I'm not gonna buy it. Then I went on <laughs> eBay or I just searched on uh, Google. Right. And it came up with eBay. Brand new, never e- opened. Oh, Electronic Bay. A, the Electronic Bay ground. Right, right, okay. <laughs> it was eBay, it was not used, unopened, 
and clearly they just work in volume, this company, right. $3,100. S shipped directly from Nigeria. I don't care where it comes from. It could come from fucking the moon for all I care about. Although saying, a lot of shipping costs bringing stuff from the moon. Yes. I don't know if people know that. A little bit more than $35. A little bit more than $35. Uh, but yeah, dude. And so I'm thinking, why would anybody ever walk into Best Buy? Because all you have to do is look and you will find some guy who's got a mom and pop store out of New York who's like, fuck it, I don't care. I just want to make $5 on this. So, dude, even to go one step further with that, yeah. the phone, the G1 phone from Google, yeah, yeah. walk up, hold your camera up to any barcode, scans it, yeah. tells you the cheapest price online so you yeah. can sit there in real time and look and be like, ah, actually I can get this for $20. And dude, it's only a matter of months before you'll be like, actually no, buy online, Amazon, done. Right. Walk out of the store and, and then you just save the, yourself 50 bucks. And the bucks. only reason why you're going into the store it's is literally just to go, do I want to buy anything in here? Yeah, I want to buy that. Bleep, bleep. Oh, that's so much less. See ya, fucker. Right. It's like, it's it like, sucks, though, for the guys who own stores and things. Well, it, it's, it's just the, the natural <clears throat> evolution of things, dude. Like, look at it this way. Like, the internet is doing this to all types of businesses. Right. The newspapers are dead. It's, right. it's mm -hmm. game That's over. Yeah. The print business is dead. Right. Uh, the internet has come in, provided a better, more efficient way to do business. Right. And, and has destroyed it, right? And it's done it with, like, everything from Craigslist to classifieds to auctions to you name it. I mean... It's just one by one, the internet comes in and just takes over these businesses right. when, the, when the technology is available that provides a better way of doing business. I know, it's really too, but, but I mean, it's one of those things, you know, <clears throat> I just wanted to see if they have this. I think uh, it's a ways off for Best Buy though, because dude. I know, I but know. I know but what you're saying, like 10 years from now, like, you know, it's not gonna be everyone going to Best Buy around Christmas season to buy the gifts. It's gonna be, Using your favorite online site. Well, now that's some... the thing is, is that it's when it, it really has to come up. Uh, yeah, so like here's a great example. I mean, Best Buy has this camera for thirteen hundred dollars, and it's... brand new on eBay, it's eight hundred and seventy-five. Yeah, but are you going to even get that camera? Well, now that's the other thing. Well, but well, see, these why, eBay guys have the... ratings and stuff, and at the end of the day, their rating is high enough that means people have done that. You know, this guy's got a 99.1% a feedback with over 17,000 people. Yeah, but even Amazon is a great example of like, it's just, I don't know, for me it's just easier. Oh, so get this. This is something I knew that I just signed up for. They have this service called Amazon Prime. Like, oh, what? It's amazing. What does it do? And what it does is that every time you order something from Amazon, you get free two-day shipping. How much is it? You pay a flat rate of 75 bucks and you get free two-day shipping all the time. Right. So, dude, there's this guy at my office, Chris. Um, he has two uh, two babies, um, two twins. Right. One twin set of twins. <laughs> I don't know how that works. One um, set of <laughs> twins. Uh, so, yeah. So, like, even Amazon so, has it for nine uh, for eight hundred and ninety nine, and Best Buy it's it's uh, eleven hundred and seventy. Right. So here's what he's doing, dude. He's buying like everything from diapers to you name it, because he gets all this free shipping today. Yeah. Like two day air, it means you get it two days after you order it. Not today. Right, today, <laughs> but two day. No, but, right, not two, right. The number two. Today yeah. air would be awesome. Um, today But how air. awesome is that, right? That's epic, like, dude. I'm gonna start doing that, because I figured, I went online, I'm like, okay, how much shit do I order from Amazon per year? And it comes out to about 10 things, <clears> but right. dude, I'll start doing a lot more, because you're gonna save money on everything. So how much does it cost like a night? I was doing 75 something. bucks flat. 75 bucks flat. Forever? Yeah, for a year. Oh, for a year, okay. And then it's renewable, and then, but you don't pay any shipping ever, and it's two day on all shipping. So two all shipping is no free. Two day no shipping? Wow. Dude, you'll make that up in like five orders. Oh, true. You know that's what I'm saying? That's totally true. And Amazon has some crazy shit, like you can crazy buy. Crazy shit. Yeah, Amazon, anyway. I love Amazon. It, they've, they've turned themselves into a really cool company. Like a, a couple of years ago, we were like, eh, they're just a big online e-commerce site. What were we talking about? Now they're doing like Mechanical Turk, they're doing S3, they're doing like all these crazy dude, the Kindle. Little, the Kindle, the Kindle, like, dude, I got my Kindle in the mail, I opened it up, I'm like, oh cool, I got my Kindle. It already had all my books from my old Kindle instantly on my new Kindle. Because they had like That's scanned epic. it, they knew I was the owner, and they did a transfer of all my books. That's epic. It's insane, dude. That is insane. And then I can walk over to any book that I already own and, yeah. and like hold it up and take a picture of it and it'll instantly transfer that book to my Kindle. That is a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you are lying technology, sir. <laughs> I know what happens. That's epic, dude. What, what story were we on? Um, I don't know. We're literally, that was the second story. What number are we on? Oh, oh this right. will be quick. This will be quick. Uh, next one, Kevin and Alex scheduled for Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. What the deuce? 2,625 people know this story submitted by Impulse. Uh, 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 u
of March. March 11th. Tune in, Wednesday people. night. Get your TiVos squared. Jimmy Fallon, first off, it was so much fun having Jimmy on the show. He's, his new <clears throat> late night show has debuted by the time you're watching this. Just debuted on mm -hmm. the second. This is his first day. So uh, he asked some, us to come on. Yeah, we were, I mean, obviously completely honored. Stoked. And very stoked. Well, first off, I think it, it shows a lot, because there's a lot of people who are like, I mean, talk about weird. He's like announcing all the people. It's like, yeah, Robert De Niro's coming on the show, Van Morrison, Cameron Diaz, Alex and Kevin from Dignation. Uh, like, what? I are know. you kidding me? It is How weird. crazy is that shit? What the shit? fuck are we going to say, though, dude? Nothing, dude. I'm going to get on there. I'm going to flip chairs. I'm going to pee on his we desk. We should just, like, fucking tear Dude, we're up. from the internet. We can we do are. what we want. That's what people from the internet do. That's what they expect us to do. Damn. We should bring monkeys. Something. We should bring like animals, like we're like the guy. Like the guys, and we'll be like, um, yeah. Jimmy, we'll here's like, my snake for here's the Here's a snake, hold this. And he'll be like, what? And he's like, you guys are not. Did we send over the hospitality <laughs> writer for what to have in the dressing room? Hospitality writer. You know, tell him what food to He's have. making a joke. Oh, he's shit. Making a joke. We, we, we should send over that thing. It'd be like Eminem, brown M&Ms in our, in our, uh. Can you do that shit when you're big time like that? Well, when we Dude, I'm going to email him, whatever. I, I want some fucking crazy better, food then. Filet mignon. The writers were cool for South by, but they're like, here's our hospitality writer, and it's like, uh, like we want a bottle of Jack and we want a six pack of beers and whatever local food is cool. I want football helmets filled with cottage cheese. Football helmets filled with cottage <laughs> cheese. You are the man. What movie was that from? I don't know, but I'm excited. All right. Dude, so we're super excited. Yes. We're super excited, Jimmy. We promise we won't embarrass ourselves too much. And um, you can add him on Twitter at, at Jimmy Fallon. Yes, of course. Uh, all right, next story. Microsoft to start selling Windows 7 in September 2009. Don't we do sponsors first? I have we have one more. Like a stay, stay. We have one more. I drank like three things of tea. Stop drinking tea. Uh, 1196 <sighs> people dug this story submitted by. You know your gut like just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, and I had like to pee on the show once. And you have to pee like a. Yeah, I remember. Just think about water. Glenn, how do you? Do you have any herbs? Micro, uh, Windows. <laughs> Microsoft could have Windows 7 on shipping PCs by September. Company Damn. president. Or, uh, uh, Sorry, Compal President Ray Chen said today at an investors conference, the PC contractor's executive understands from plans that the software should be available in either late September or early October. Wow. I am so looking forward to this. I am too. I have been enjoying yeah. the hell out of Windows 7 on this laptop. Um, super slick, super fast. Like, I just can't wait for it to be the thing that, start, that actually starts being my home computer. It, it's, it's finally like Microsoft was like, well, this is perfect, man. They, they finally listened to people. Yeah. They got rid of a lot of the bullshit and they're finally coming out with an OS so that everyone is like, oh, like we don't have to use that piece of shit Vista, you know? Well, how, and also, how long was Longhorn in fucking development, man? I forgot it was even called Longhorn. I know, that's how fucking long ago it was. Yeah, I know. Like that development for Vista was like, Pulling teeth. Well, man. the problem is they try to do too much. You know, they they had a whole new file system. I know it was they scrapped. Fast. They basically were gonna like start from scratch and make this crazy OS. It was just a little too ambitious, you know. I think it was, and I think that the sort of modular nature of what the new one is, I think it's really great. I've fallen in love with this sort of toolbar taskbar thing. Dude, it's so slick. Less bro. is more. Less is more. And you more. like highlight over, and it just brings you to what. Oh, it's just People so don't slick. I, I wonder if they, cha they had a change of like had a design or something over there. It feels maybe, that way to me. Maybe. Let me. Let me beg one last time. If you are a Microsoft employee and you have something to do with UI, please keep the lower right hand icons all the same color like they are Genius. now. Genius. Do not change that because it bugs me when there's like 15 different colored icons in the lower right. Doesn't that kill you? Of course, dude. This is this is really slick. Yeah. So anyway, so we'll see. September, fingers crossed. I, I'm waiting to put it on my main PC because I know come August, it's gonna be like, you can't use this anymore, and then I'm gonna to have to go back to Vista right. and, and then wait, thing, and then go, and so I figure I'll wait. The last thing this man needs is a day or two without video games. Holy crap. He would probably die. I would probably die. Step I started playing a little bit of Lord of the Rings Online, by the way. Oh, hello. Don't, don't tell World of Warcraft, I'm cheating on her a little bit. All right. Just a little bit. Just playing, just a tip. Last story of the day. Uh, before we do that, sponsors! Sponsors. Uh, Sega Empire Total War, uh, <coughs> excuse me, takes a Total War franchise to the 18th century, a time of perpetual war. This latest inst installation of the award-winning Total War franchise has introduced a host of evolutionary features, including true 3D naval combat. Epic. Road to Independence campaign takes, a char takes charge 
Uh, take charge of the American Revolution against the British. This campaign improves access to the game by, graphic, by gradually introducing advanced features over time. There are over 30 in-game factions encompassing all of the world's major powers, including the United States of America. New real-time 3D naval warfare is amazing, by the way. Player controls single ships or vast fleets with, ve with fully destructible sails, as well as cannons and musket action, uh, boarding raids, and more. Empire Total War is based on the newly created Windows XP compatible DirectX 10 graphics yeah, engine, I heard which about is that. great. Um, so what is, is it like? Just in, I have to see it. I have DirectX 10 obviously on my machine. You should on my main download main the download the uh, demo. Is, so it's there's a demo. Intense. Yeah, right. it's intense. They literally they they render off individual musket balls in the giant scope of the the war That's that you're badass. seeing. It's pretty epic. Players will experience real time seascapes, dynamic weather, and new advanced landscape and flora systems. Nice. Prince, Check can we get full copies out. of this game? Uh, yeah. Every single time we do like a and cool game. And then he says yeah, and, and then, then we, we never, never get it. And she yes. shows up. Yes, I was told absolutely yes. Okay, sweet. I, I'm excited to play this. All right. Yeah, I need more games for my PC. I agree. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. like, there's a handful of multi -all online games and you have to commit a ton of time. Yeah. And it's like, I just want like some cool games that I can jump into, like something new and refreshing, not the old World of I don't want to play World of Warcraft Dude, again. Dude, Left 4 Dead? Mm -hmm. Download Left 4 Dead? Intense. It, it is literally playing a zombie movie. Nice. Like, it's four people co op. It's mm -hmm. crazy. It's PC ass. based. PC. Yeah, right. Valve does it. It's all based the, on Half Life 2. I'll, I'll check out this game as well. So. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> all right, cool. Uh, go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Oh, and Puzzle Quest Galactrix, by the way. Puzzle Quest Galactrix? Yeah, it's pretty intense. It's like Star Con. Do you remember Star Control? Why did you just point at yourself? Because like it's that? my shirt. I'm wearing. Oh. I'm, do you remember Star Control from no. back in the day? No. Where you would like the little ship and you would like go to the different planets and you would fight other ships. Oh, that was a very Star back Control, was it? Star Control, Star Control too. Yeah. Yeah, Star Control. Mm, I didn't play that. You would recognize it if you saw it. It's like Star Control meets uh, Bejeweled. That sounds pretty good. It's what's it called again? Uh, Puzzle Quest Galactrix. Is this made by the same people that did Puzzle Pirates? Mm, I don't think so. Remember when Joshua was in the Puzzle Pirates? <laughs> I don't know if I knew Galactics. him then. Ticks. Tricks. Tricks. <laughs> okay. I mean, you spelled it wrong. That's uh, it right there. But the, it's like a review, I think. Mr. Math? No. Is this like a... a, like a no, it's not so like... It's like for eight, 8 through 12. No. <laughs> that was... Oh, oh epic! Fuck. That is hysterical. Show them what just came up. It's it's linked to the Totally Rad <laughs> show for anything. No, we didn't know it because it was actually through it's Truvio. It's through somebody else. That was freaking hysterical. Wait, why is Truvio doing this? I don't know. Holy Let's... shit, they're framing Revision 3. Did you know that, Prager? No, is that the AOL? The, no, they just created it's an French. iframe of all of Revision 3. And put it in here. Ooh, someone's in yeah. taking a shit, Prager. All right, next sponsor. Um, anyway, check it out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, GoDaddy, GoDaddy makes it easy to customize your own vertical dedicated server. Why are you reading it up? Because I don't have all right, a, all right, 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 all right. This is new for GoDaddy. I didn't know they did this. Choose from over three popular plans or use your own Linux or Windows server uh, with all the plan options you need. Plus, enter the code DIG6 when you check out and get an additional 20% off any one, two, or three year hosting plan, summer search supplies, see site for details. Get your piece of the internet at godaddy.com. Um, and also, don't forget you can get the find the full list of promo codes for any GoDaddy discounts at revision3.com slash godaddy. I want to say something rather than just reading the copy. Um, I didn't know that they did this. So this is like a new virtual server thing from GoDaddy. So you get like dedicated hosting there now, like your own boxes. Because That's pretty before, cool. It wasn't like that. You know what I mean? It was like shared hosting thing. Yeah. And you don't. You only get so much control over the machine. Right. Right. So this is something new. I gotta check that out. I like it, dude. Cool. Uh, also, Netflix. Thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Dignation with Netflix. You can rent over ninety thousand titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles. Uh, not so much with the uh, HD DVD. Uh, with free shipping both ways to your home. Doesn't that seem so funny? Do you remember when it used to be like there was a contest? Anyway. Uh, they'll now have over 40 shipping centers, so almost all your deliveries uh, happen in just one business day. Uh, Netflix plans start from $4.99, and as a new member, you get a no-risk free-week trial. By three free, weeks. They by moved free, free, I meant two-week, free two-week trial. <laughs> Check it out, www.netflix.com slash dignation. Uh, the www's are important. My pick of the week for uh, uh, this is Planet Earth on Blu-ray. Nice. So, a couple I? times. Oh, it's all right. It's, he it's likes the one movie really it's well. It's fucking good, man. There's like four discs, and you see these little birds fucking I would say, mating. I would say without the bird fucking mating <laughs> on the Blu-ray, uh, also get World's Fastest Indian. 
World's Fastest Indian on Blu-ray. Uh, it was a really great uh, true story about uh, the uh, New Zealand uh, motorcycle enthusiast who broke the land speed record on a motorcycle. Tropic Thunder, that's good too. Tropic Thunder's also good. We always love doing surveys. It's, it's great to get feedback from the viewers, you know, to see what we can do, what we're doing right, see what we can do better and things like that. So if you're interested, head over to revision3.com slash dignation survey. Uh, and we really appreciate you uh, uh, checking it out. Um, and a treat, also as a treat for completing the survey, we'll give you a sneak peek at a new show we're working on. Okay, so. Also, Dig Reel, check out uh, to pee, Too Many Dicks on the next episode of Dig Reel, uh, the show that brings you the hottest videos every week with hosts Andrew Bancroft, Douchebags, Obnoxious Kids, Flight of the Concords, hint, Too Many Douchebags on the Dance Floor is their song. Uh, just some of the dicks in the profile of the dig reel. Really? <laughs> That's what they wanted me to say dick so many times? Uh, dig reel, get a dick in your mouth. Revision3.com slash dig reel. Really? <laughs> oh, that wasn't in there. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Who wrote that copy? Know, and did you hear me ask him, like, are you sure that that's the promo for Scam School? Like, I'll put it in there. No, yeah, it was it's for Dig That was for Dig Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I mean, it was like, all right. Anyway. Would you so like some up? more? Yeah, we're not going to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Last story of the day. Apple announces Safari for the world's fastest browser. That's what they With say. With 2,975 digs submitted by erroneous... Apple today announced the public beta of Safari for the world's fastest and most innovative web right. browser for the Mac and Windows PCs. The Windows! Ni the Nitro <laughs> engine in Safari 4 runs JavaScript 4.2 times faster than Safari 3. <laughs> wow, that was a number. It, I thought, uh, what? I yeah, thought you that. Said it, it runs you thought JavaScript. It was Java 4.2. I was like, what am I even saying? Times faster. It, it runs JavaScript 4.2 uh, times faster than yeah. Safari 3. Gotcha. It is pretty awesome. So, first of all, hello, look at that. You haven't installed it yet. Top oh, sites is surprising. Your it looks exactly like Chrome with an Apple skin. Dude. Right? No, it right? doesn't. It doesn't. How? It's, it's, it's curved. Right? Like and a, then watch it this. It looks like Whoop. a presentation ah, of. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, back. go back. Whoop. Back out. All right, pick another one. Whoop. Up. Look at that. Oh, I see. So it does load it. Isn't that sweet? Now, watch this. Edit. Go into here. I can say, mm, I'm not too into this one being here. Whoosh, gone. Uh, I don't want this one there. Whoosh, gone. How sweet is that? Looks pretty cool. Now watch. Um, I think I want more of a, a small view of all my screens or a large view of all my screens. Or medium. Okay. Stick with medium. Okay. So what else now, do you do? Because this is just look, one Look thing. at the new tabs. Tabs at the top. Tabs at the top. Boom. Uh, AlexAlbrecht.com. Interesting. Boom, look at that. You got a new blog, very nice. Yeah, post it up, Twitch stream. Um, so, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And it does some other, and it's yeah. really fast. It's extremely fast. <clears throat> and the password management is a heck of a lot better. Yeah. Uh, they just got a bunch of really good stuff. Interesting. Yeah. It still feels a little oogie running Safari on a PC. Does that feel weird? Yeah, doesn't it? Mm. Doesn't, wouldn't that feel weird? like? Did, did, is Chrome, I mean, I don't, and I don't use IE. Believe me, it's not, it's not choosing, you, you know, Max version or, or Microsoft's over the other one. You know what I mean? But right. is Chrome what? Is, is the Google Chrome engine based off of WebKit? Google Chrome. Yeah, it is. It is. Based off of WebKit. So basically, when you're using Google Chrome, you're using Safari. It's the same rendering engine. Right, but it's not Safari. Right, but what I'm saying is... It's got some bones in there that's Safari. Right, but what I'm saying is like it's not it's not going to display a page any differently. Like, I didn't know if your your concern was that like it, it might break pages because it's Safari. Or no, no, no. Right? Oh, no, 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 okay. no. That is that, that right there is very 19 like late 90s. Like breaking pages. Breaking pages. Nobody breaks pages anymore. Yeah, you can't I don't pop know about a, that, dude. Who breaks pages? Listen, when when a new version of like IE is coming out. We have to take it into well, QA. Well, IE breaks pages. And, and we have to fix like a couple of those but I CSS mean, tweaks. The, the people who like come out with... The, most everyone now in the last couple of years has said, okay, we're all going to be standards compliant, and they've been pretty cool. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like... Nobody wants broken pages. Nobody wants to fucking break links. At the end of the day. <clears throat> no, that's horrible. I, I mean, I like it. Look I, at the I'm, new search. Alex, look at that. Wow. Oh, look at that. Suggested searches, recent searches, pretty sweet, huh? All right, I dig that. Do I have Chrome on here? I don't think I installed Chrome on here because I'm using Firefox. Anyway, yeah, I like it. It's definitely cleaner at the top. It is the fastest browser. I don't know if it's now, faster who, than Chrome. How did they say that? Did they just say that? I think they can just say that. Oh, okay. That's it. Good. Apple. I am the fastest. Um, 
Hold on. There's, what? They have the uh, Apple.com slash Safari. They normally put up like nice little charts showing how much faster they are. <laughs> so. Well, clearly not that fast. The fast they dollar. can't even load Apple.com slash Safari. Hold on. Still loading. I might have to enter again. Oh, you know what? It was my fault because I, I'm just. Oh, you didn't it. have it full screen. I, I got didn't you. Have full screen. Hold on. Let me make sure my wireless is good. Yep. Is that good there? So clearly the world's fastest browser. Hold on, contacting Apple.com. Okay, you know what? Oh, you know I'm what? They're probably under so much load because everyone's downloading the world's fastest browser. Why did you go to? Hmm. Oh, here we are. Let's just call that a little test. Did it you go to me... slash Safari? Hell yeah! It took two seconds. Well, hold on. So I'm gonna say it doesn't pass the smell test if you ask me. It's beta. Oh, look at that. Welcome me to Safari 4. Well, who cares? Ooh, thank you for the welcome. I'm actually on Safari 4. Oh, damn it. It took me back to my main page. Okay, forget um, it. Yours right. is broken. All right. So Safari 4, everybody get it if you don't want to see web pages. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, love it. 150 new features. Okay, well, let's not do go over that. I thought you had to pee. I do have to pee. Should I just sorry, punch sorry, you in sorry, the sorry, bladder sorry, and then sorry. you'll be done? I mean, I'm excited for it, I guess, but for me, I, it, it seems like, you know how like I don't want to use, I mean, one, I don't want to use IE. And I'm on Windows. Why would I want to use the built-in web browser that's on the operating system I'm not even using? Oh shit! What? No, Windows native look. Look at they make it look Windows-like now. That makes you feel a little better. No. It's like home. It's not like home. <laughs> Shut up, your home. You look like home. All what? right, let's do this. Anyway, there are more accessibility options for people that have problems. All right, well now that I can get behind, but you, that's not, not me. Are you not happy for people that have? Oh, yes. I don't want to use Safari, and now I'm against disabled people. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, dude. you know what? It makes sense. That connection makes sense to me, and now I'm, 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 I feel sorry. Shit. What? Prayers on my shit. All right. Prayers up on your shit. Still All right. It. Let's get to some emails here before we say goodbye. Kevin and Alex as paper toys. Hey, Kevin and Alex. I recently found a website on Kevin's Twitter, cubecraft.com. I created a ton of models on that page. Uh, thank you very much for the awesome website, Kevin. Anyway, I found the submission page with a layout to design your own, so I did my best and created both of you guys. I've included links to a few images along that I've took along with the layouts. I'll attempt to make Hippie and Prager later. I'll keep you updated, Austin. Thank you so much. Uh, also, I wanted to say, look at this picture. How cool is this? Oh, dude, that's awesome. And I have to say, I'm so glad I got this email because I've actually used the cube Wait, that I you created that as Twitter my icon. new, uh, yeah, my favicon. Yeah. Or not favicon, my profile picture. Favicon would be if I, actually, I should use that for my favicon on my blog. Epic. Um, anyway, so uh, so thanks so much, dude. And I, I, there's a link. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Twitter out the link to the layout. Safari? Oh, I'm sorry. Now even Safari is breaking? The regular one? Amazing. No, I don't have, it takes over the other one. So yeah, dude, it. check this out. Look. <clears throat> Isn't it's that beta. cool? Oh, that's awesome. So you cut them out, and then you can make the cube itself. You know what I mean? Super yes. cool. I'm going to post, I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to I'm going to Twitter a link to uh, the Kevin and Alex Favicons, or the cubes, in case people want to make them. Nice. Actually, we should do that. We should have them make the Kevin and Alex, and then send us pictures of us in weird places. Oh, awesome. How awesome is that? So that'll be our new kind of like little picture thing. So yeah. email those to dignationfans at gmail.com. Cut out these things, make them, hold them with your face, like hold them with you. Yeah. Like chilling in different places, and the next... Like when we go and do our South by Southwest, yeah. If we have, we'll some. announce the winner of our favorite one up to date, and then we'll send you free T-shirts. Yeah, I'm and gonna link. I'm gonna Twitter post them right now. Okay, make sure you get mine too. I will. I will. I'm gonna do one at a time, and then I'm gonna. Dude, do... don't use tiny URL. What What's the new one? Is there a new one? Uh, I'll take that later. Small. Um, small right. Z's. Here's the deal. Uh, that was my uh, email today from Keith. iPhone question mark. Hey guys, love the show, been a fan for a while. I wanted to ask you guys about your iPhones. Okay. It's been hyped up a lot and I'm just wondering if you guys think it's a good buy. So we've had our iPhones since day one now. I've had them for since day one. It's actually funny, my mom's in town right now. So my, my parents coming in town tonight. Get the fuck out, what? We should party. Yeah, uh, what are your parent, likes and dislikes parent about, party. as we said. My number one issue with the iPhone is obviously no cut and paste. I mean, it does so much stuff great, but then I like retweet for me right now is my copy and paste. Okay. So if somebody sends me something and, and does the at reply at Alex Albrecht, I, I, and I want to I want to Twitter about it, but I don't want it to be a direct retweet. Great example is new episode of TRS comes out, 
right? Dan Trachtenberg Dan, Dan, at Danny TRS puts out a really great, concise, here's the link to the new show. Right. All I want to do is copy the link that he made. You should retweet it. Well, but I don't want to retweet the whole thing because it's sort of weird that I would be retweeting the tweet that my buddy said, oh, our show is out, and I retweet yeah, it. Yeah, but you're giving him credit and you're driving him more viewers. To his I, I agree with that, and at times that I do want to do that. But what I really just wanted to do was I was out and I go, oh, I should tweet as well that our show is out. Uh, but I don't, it doesn't have to be a retweet of my other co- my. So co-host. you just want to copy and paste. So there is no copy and paste in the iPhone, but what I figured out was with Twitter, I just retweet, delete, delete everything. everything else, yeah. But it's a so, little bit like, really? So here's what I'm going to say, just to counter his point on the, the, the copy and paste, because you always need the yin and the yang. I love yang. Uh, if Steve Jobs wanted us to have copy and paste, we would have it. And he doesn't, and so we must abide by that and smile. So Steve, uh, I'm happy that we don't have copy and paste. And when you provide uh, it, um, I uh, We will be happy. happy. No, I'm so just kidding. It funny. is kind of sucked. It doesn't have copy and paste. <laughs> but aside from that, I really, really believe it's the best phone I've ever owned. Um, yeah. AT&T service, a little shitty sometimes in certain areas, uh, drops calls every once in a while, but you know, overall, it's fun. There's so many great games. I play chess with friends with all these guys, and it's like turn-based chess and stuff. There's like a ton of games. Ooh, shit. Uh, NG Moco has a new game coming out. Uh, check out their website. Um, that is, I was playing. It was pretty badass. Um, but anyway, good phone. That's it. Yeah, definitely a good phone. Uh, it's worth doing. I, um, <clears throat> the price is right now. The price is right now. My mom was talking about getting a BlackBerry, and I was like, you know, at the end of the day, the best user uh, interface that there is right now is the iPhone. Um, it's great to have pictures and, and videos, and it's, it's just really robust. And the applications now have made it pff, unbelievable. Yeah. So it's definitely great. Cool. Uh, if you'd like to have your email read on the show, please feel free to send it to dignationfans at gmail.com. That is it for this week's edition of Dignation. I am twitter.com slash Alex Albrecht. I'm twitter.com slash Kevin Rose. Until next time. We will see you somewhere soon. Yes, and, and sign off the internet every once in a while and go out and throw the football around a little bit. Get some exercise. Good yeah. for you. Feels good. Although if you get injured, it's not our fault. Not our fault. Love it. <laughs>